OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Welcome to Teaching with Technology. I am your presenter, Susan Coulter. I am one of OTAN's subject matter experts, um, more affectionately known as SMEs. Um, and uh, let's get going. Today, we're going to give you a little introduction, but um, basically we're going to dig for buried treasure on OTAN's website. And there is a lot that people, at least most people don't know about. And I want this workshop to be interactive. So please, if you have a phone or a laptop or a tablet and you want to explore with me, or you can bring up your browser. So we are going to go exploring. This is my method of going back and forth. Down in your uh, tray, there is usually an icon for Zoom and you can go back and forth. So uh, it's up to you which method you wanna use, but uh, please follow along and join me. I love this graphic. There are so many sides to OTAN, and this graphic so beautifully illustrates the different projects OTAN is working on. Um, news articles, and we'll talk about those. The annual Technology and Distance Learning Symposium, well, you know about that. Um, you're attending. There's also online resources. Um, we have Teachers and Administrators Digest. Uh, which have now combined into OTAN Digest, Teaching with Technology, which is an online database um, with activities that you can use in the classroom. And then there's face-to-face -face and online training. Um, since COVID began, the top story has been upcoming OTAN activities to support adult educators. And here you'll find upcoming webinars for the week. And um, sometimes there's news articles of, of importance to the field. If you are an OTAN member, you can get a schedule sent to your email box each week. And I want to encourage you to join OTAN and, and stay connected. Um, in the upper right hand corner, let's see, right up there, it says, Join OTAN. And one of the benefits of joining OTAN is the OTAN Digest. It comes out every month and has links to news articles, web-based class activities, and information on upcoming um, training. So if you are not a member, it's easy to join. So we're going to click that link that I showed you, join OTAN. Nope, I guess I have one more. Um, this is the administrator. No, this is the uh, newsletter. Um, the newsletter uh, comes out, I'm going to say quarterly. Um, this is the uh, winter uh, newsletter and got an article on um, Leslie Fisher and uh, Technology and Distance Learning Symposium. Symposium. Uh, there's also an article on the left here, OTAN Moodle, <gasps> sunsetting in December of 2022. So that's kind of important. When you select it, you have to, uh, when you select join OTAN, there's some things you have to um, select. Um, I would like to receive the following OTAN publications. What do you want to receive? We really don't want to overfill your inbox, um, but do you want the Administrator's Digest? And these are actually gone in together, um, the quarterly newsletter. And do you want it in print or do you want it electronically? There's a couple of things there. And this one is really, I think, kind of neat. Um, during COVID, it's probably not a true statement. 
because if there is a face-to-face -face workshop um, happening near you and it is open, um, then you can be notified. So you put down your, your areas of interest and do you want to be notified if uh, the nearby agency, um, they're having a workshop? So I really like that part. Okay, now it's your turn. So what I want you to do is to go to the OTAN website and uh, select join OTAN in the upper right hand corner. I want you to log in. You might try it. All you need is an email. There's no password. Just put in your email and register as a new user if you don't automatically go in. And I want you to update your publications and your notifications. Um, and then don't forget to select save. OK, I am going to move on. So let's go back to our PowerPoint. Anyone else have any questions on this or any problems you've run into? No? OK, we are moving on. And OK. The first thing I want to talk about are the sidebars. Um, on the right, you'll, you'll find several important links. So we want to take just a little closer look. The first one is the COVID-19 field support. Um, there you'll find a plethora of resources. Um, it has changed um, in the last few months, I think. Um, and um, we'll take a, a closer look at it in a couple of minutes. But next is... Uh, Learn more about OTAN, which gives you more information about OTAN. And the next one, if your um, agency has Moodle courses housed on the OTAN server, that's a direct link, uh, that third one down. And the fourth one is the California Adult Education Online Application. And uh, we'll take a look at that from a different angle, but this is where your administrators are actually um, accessing the SIP, um, the EL's uh, civics um, report, um, different things like that, where they go in and this is where they submit things. California Department of Education, um, California Adult Ed Students Succeed. Ooh, we're going to talk about that. Um, and that's where you can highlight your students. Um, and then Technology and Distance Learning Symposium. Uh, that's a quick link to uh, TDLS. And then at the very end is the archived news articles. And some of these are kind of old, um, but some of them are still valuable. Um, this is COVID-19 field support. And I want you to take a look. There's two blue bands. One is to view previous OTAN webinars. Um, please visit the video presentation section. And then the other one to view upcoming OTAN webinars, you're going to click the bottom blue section. And the top one, it used to be where as soon as they gave a webinar, they, um, they had to have it remediated, which takes a little bit of time, but they would post them there. And during COVID, that was extremely important. And then they got so many of them, they started making an index down at the bottom. Um, but here on the COVID-19 page, um, we have them uh, classified by ones that come from OTAN. And one I thought was fascinating was the second one under OTAN from the app amazing volunteers I can go the distance and that came out almost immediately when um, COVID hit and uh, uh, one of the DLAC teams um, created that and I thought it was pretty amazing but anyway um, 
it's pretty much that's the top of the page and this is some more from down the bottom just some re general resources from some of the leadership projects but if you select i'm going to go back one and what we are selecting is that top blue area that is going to take us to the video presentation so let me take you there And this is the um, video page. And you can see down here on the left-hand side uh, are some of the categories. And it, it goes down a little bit further. <laughs> um, but there's uh, you can look for videos. These just happen to be um, the featured vi videos. This first one is from DLAC, which is the Digital Leadership Academy. And then this is an OTAN Tech Talk. And this last one is from TDLS of last year. So there's quite a bit there. Let's go on. I did click on one. I call this a sample category. I just clicked on teaching and working online. And here are some of the videos at, uh, assessing students remotely using a virtual platform. Best practices for teaching online building online strategies for today and tomorrow. And, and you can see, oh, here's Triple E framework, um, tips and tools for teaching online. So there are numerous resources. And during COVID, it was very important to make sure that these got to the field. All right, are you ready? It's time for you to go on a journey. and. I will go out for those of you that don't want to take the journey um, and we can uh, explore together. So you're going to go to the OTAN website. You're going to select the COVID-19 bar sidebar on the right. You're going to explore. I want you to take a look around, see what's in COVID-19. And then I want you to uh, select the link to the video presentations and remember that's the blue area and it's the top blue area okay so i'm setting you off to explore and this one here is the video presentations that i showed you and you can take any of these and these are the videos that are available the other one i did want to show you and i don't think I included it in the PowerPoint um, is, let's go back one more, the bottom one, which is the adult education training calendar. Um, this is something I look at almost on a daily basis, at least once a week. Um, there are some, uh, CalPro has some self-directed online courses. Um, but coming up, here's Mastering the English Language Proficiency Standards. It's an online course. Uh, WIOA, uh, Networking Meeting, CAPE, ooh, Employment and Earnings Survey and Tops Enterprise. Um, I've been involved in, in data and accountability. So a lot of those are, are really um, of interest to me, but here's, Google customized workshop. It's happening in Burbank. It's a virtual workshop, but it's specifically for that agency. And we're going to talk about training. So um, that's uh, there's a few of them now. Madera Adult School Engaging Instruction, uh, Canvas Question and Answer. That's more data teaching vocabulary and technology and over here what i like to do is to um, go by sponsor so let's say i want only what a otan is um, having so here's more into um, the actual uh, webinars etc teaching vocabulary with technology so that might be something you're interesting, interested in. And if you are um, an administrator, you will want uh, 
to attend the ones on the SIP. We did have one last, was last hour? Uh, last uh, session was on SIP. So, okay. Equity and inclusion, okay. All right, let's go on. And interesting that, that you mentioned that, Alexis. Um, what's, what's interesting is they've added two parts to a SMART goal. So it's a SMART T, and uh, those are the two that they um, are including. So rather than you know the SMART, they're putting an I for inclusion and an E for equity. So interesting. All right, let's go back to our PowerPoint and hopefully you've had time to um, explore. So now we're on, oops, let me get my PowerPoint up. There we go. We're going to explore the first tab and it's called training. Um, there is all kinds of training available to you as an agency. Um, there are face-to-face -face workshops. We hope <laughs> we hope they're they're going back, but I heard they're going to some conf uh, conference, and so I think we're getting close to getting back to face-to-face. -to -face. So hopefully by the end of the year or maybe the beginning of next year, we can actually do face-to-face. -face. But let's take a look. Um, these are some. I don't think I could put all of them on. These are alphabetical orders. And as far as face-to-face -face workshops, these are ones that have been done in the past. I don't think these are the only ones that are available. If you have a need um, for a different workshop involving technology, let O10 know and say, hey, I need a workshop on Canvas. Uh, I need a workshop on puzzle? I don't know, anything. Um, so these are some of them. And these are the ones that um, have been done recently. Uh, putting English to work in Moodle. So if you're ESL, you might be interested in that. OK, let's go on. And the requirements um, are basically that you have 10 participants registered two weeks in advance or 14 days prior um, to the workshop date. All right. So that's about online workshops. These are some of the online ones that they are. Um, they are uh, doing, and you can request anything. And you could do it just for your agency if you want. All right, let's go on. And the online workshops, well, you're in this, uh, this workshop, so uh, you would definitely um, be able to participate. Okay, um, and you are definitely familiar with the uh, symposium, so we're not going to spend much time on that one. Um, let's go on. And Digital Leadership Academy. Um, the goal of the Digital Leadership Academy is to assist uh, selected. You have to be selected. I think right now we have 12 different agencies throughout the state. Um, the selected agencies they help them to meet their technology integration, um, distance learning, or blended learning goals. And it is a two-year commitment. Um, we are nearing the end of year two, and a new cohort will start in the fall. Um, applications are open. Um, and uh, well, no, they're not open yet. They'll be open in April. And and if you think about your SIP goal and um, what your goal is for your SIP, your um, continuous improvement plan, and you might get a team working together on, 
on that as part of the Digital Leadership Academy. It is a, an amazing opportunity. You, um, as a team, you work towards those goals and you get the support of OTAN staff, coaches, and training. So it, it's really important. All right, let's keep going on. Uh, we did talk about this, but this is also found under training. So this is the upcoming events. And this is the end of the training tab. So here are the things that are available on the training tab. Now, I am going to set you loose if you want to take a look. I'm not going to spend too much time. I want to meet the needs of, I think we've got three left. Um, are they feed based? There's no charge. All right. There are no, there's no charge for any of these workshops. They're free. You can have staff come out. Uh, OTAN staff will, well, for face to face, hopefully soon, uh, they'll be able to come to your agency and provide the professional development that you need. Uh, online workshops, um, you just have to, to say what you want it on, and you can have your entire um, staff in a virtual workshop. Okay. All right. I'm going to set you loose for a little bit. And we're going to explore. I think I've taken you through most things, but um, let's go up to the top. And this is training. So look through some of the titles, see if there's something you're interested in. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time because I think you want to get on to be the big, the meat is in the resources. And I do want to get to the resources. So take a look around. Um, see if there's something. Uh, you might want to look at the. Um, and it's a two-year program. And I, if we go back to face-to-face, -to -face, you'll be going up to Sacramento uh, to meet in Sacramento. Um, for DLAC if you get selected. And you can have a team. Um, usually there's an administrator and a couple of teachers and they work together on this project. So May 20th is the, um, oh, to be determined. I don't think it's going to be, well, I don't know. Might be in Sacramento, that would be amazing. But um, you, it will be also broadcast online and you can um, watch the presentations, get an idea. And also in our video section, the uh, DLAC presentations are there. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving on. And this is the meat. This is the entire meat of the uh, presentation. And right here, this is the resources tab I have selected up in the top right hand section. And there are curriculum offers, uh, California adult education courses, uh, California um, EL civics exchange, which is something new, but let's take a look. So let's go on. I think I can do it from here. There we go. Um, first up is the accessibility resources. Um, a lot of tools here. Um, also on contrast. So if you are presenting at a conference or something and you want to make sure that um, your PowerPoint is accessible, how to put in the uh, uh, alt text on images, um, how to change it to a PDF and those types of things. So this is the page that would be of, of value to you. Um, these are the curriculum offers. Oh, and I do want to, there's two that are for teachers. Essential Education, it is a course. And ISTE Skill Rise Initiative. 
Over here for students, these are things that you can use with your students. So first off, let's see, CK-12. And CK-12 is um, a free online, um, and actually you can create your own textbook. It's a free textbook. They have uh, quite a few textbooks, math, um, and you can, if you were to get a, a textbook, I don't know, science, let's say science, and to align it with your textbook, you could move fake chapters around. Um, it's really easy to work with. Um, there are the Flexbooks 2.0. They have interactives. It's, it's really pretty amazing. Videos are directly on the page of the textbook. So everything is right there for your students. There is training for CK-12. Um, you can become a uh, certified educator. Um, there's also webinars, professional developed to learn how to um, use this program. There's a video series that you can watch. But what I'm really excited about with CK-12 is look at this. What are you looking? I went under topics. And down here on the kind of lower right hand side is adult education. We got our own section. So there's basic education, high school diploma, high school equivalency. There's also CT. I don't know why. This must be an old one. Anyway, let's take a look. This is the high school equivalency. And you can see all the books. There's a lot of books here. Um, mainly math, um, CK-12 is very strong in the math and the science. Um, and this is high school diploma, U.S. history, U.S. government, economics, biology, chemistry, physics, pre-algebra, and algebra one. So um, when you think about how expensive textbooks are, um, this is an, uh, a great alternative. And we now have some career CTE options. Um, there's some topics. There's anatomy and physiology, uh, health science, cosmetology, <laughs> employment safety for ESL students, and ESL beginning uh, safety equipment. So. It's exciting in the sense that, that we're getting more books, more uh, topics for adult, uh, for our adult students. Okay, here we go. Essential education. Um, it is a blended learning course from uh, essential education. Um, I believe it's from, no, it's just essential education. Anyway, um, it talks about uh, what is a bl uh, blended learning course, what is the model you want to use, teaching tools, assessment tools, um, and how to introduce your students to blended learning, teaching problem solving. So Learn 360, I just did one earlier today on Learn 360. It's like a hundred and well, it says 190,000 uh, multimedia resources, but there's also interactives. Uh, what I like about Learn360 is they um, divide them up into little tiny segments. It might be two minutes. So you could show something that's um, just two minutes. And... It does integrate into Google Classroom. You can use it in Moodle, and I, you can also use it in Canvas. And you can actually embed your videos. Uh, thing I like about them is they have a series for ESL, Can Do English. And uh, while they're talking in English, there's a transcript playing on the side, on the right-hand side. 
that uh, um, it actually you can students can change to their own language. And there's over a hundred languages that they can change it to, and it's true of any page within Learn three hundred and sixty. Um, you can change the language. Um, there's a math series, an ASE test prep series for automotive, even videos for cosmetology. So would like you to take a look at that one. This is Learning Upgrade, it offers a free three month pilots that provide students with unlimited access to uh, standards based courses. Um, teachers get full access. Um, and there's all kinds. There's English upgrade, digital literacy, math upgrade, algebra and pre algebra upgrade, um, GD math and high set math. Um, reading upgrade and comprehension. So there's a lot here um, and a lot of uh, information. Um, Ed ready. Oh, and I have to explain about Ed ready. Well, I probably should talk about developmental in English first. There is a course from NROC uh, called Developmental English. It is a full course. Also, there is developmental math. They did have them in uh, Moodle at one point in time. I believe they're still there, not positive. Um, Ed Ready, uh, it started out that the community colleges were noticing that many of the students that came from high schools um, did not have the math skills um, to be successful in college and were having to take remedial uh, remedial classes. And so what they did was they came up with Ed Ready. And it actually tests the students knowledge to begin with, what do they know. And they go, um, they take a diagnostic test to begin with. And then they when they finish, it gives them a plan, you need to learn about this, 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 you don't have mastery on these areas. Um, so I um, and OTAN does have an Ed Ready um, that you can um, they have it on their network um, if you are interested in Ed Ready um, and the video there is if they don't pass then they can there's a section they push to learn and then there is a video that pops up they teach the subject they give them practice um, there's guided practice, there's practice and evaluation, et cetera, so that when they're finished, they should be able to pass the test in that particular area. More of, um, and Ed Ready, what they did was they started coming up with all these different pathways. Um, a few years back, I got involved with it and they wanted a pathway for GED and high set. And so a few teachers um, went through the entire course. We had to work from beginning to end. And uh, we had to decide what was appropriate for a, a GED student or a high set student. So uh, hippocampus, want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, when I was teaching high school, I got involved with hippocampus. It's free. All of these are free. Okay, we are free. Um, hippocampus. Um, what I liked about that was it would correlate with my textbook. So I believe it was a biology. I had a biology textbook, but it would give me more resources, videos, um, different kinds of things that would correlate directly with my textbook. So um, I just thought it was fast, excuse me, fascinating. And it was definitely a, an amazing resource. Um, with the EdReady math pathways, I actually found one for culinary students and the math skills they needed. Um, they have them for electricians. They have them, uh, there are, there are a ton of math pathways to say 152 goals aligned with most careers. So if a CTE program needs math as a component, then um, there's probably a 
EdReady math pathway. USA Learns. Um, there's quite a few courses here. There's the first English course, English One Plus, uh, second English course, Practice English and Reading, and USA Learns Citizenship. And I'm sure you've heard about um, USA Learns. They did have an app at one point um, that, uh, where do you find the curriculum offer page? I will get to that, Alexis. Um, anyway, um, these are, are different things through USA Learns. So, and on any of these, let me see if I can find it. The Practice English and Reading course contains, just click it, and I, I think it takes you directly in. I don't think you have to um, contact OTAN to get that. This one is fairly new. Skills for the nursing assistant, effective communication, nonverbal communication, communication barriers, and communication strategies. So that is fairly new. And naturally, there are the California Adult Education courses. These are Moodle courses. And you can, as an agency, get your uh, here's ABC Adult School, Antelope, Antioch, Azusa, Baldwin Park. Um, you can get um, courses for your school, um, Moodle Shells and build your own course. But if you don't want to go through all of that, um, up here are OTAN developed courses. The very top, you'll see OTAN developed course, courses. And here are um, ones that um, OTAN has developed. So, um, and these down here, OTAN other shared courses are ones that other people have created and they're willing to share. So there are, I mean, all you have to do is say, I want this course and uh, they will give you a shell um, and you could just take it away from there. There are EL civics shared courses. So if you have a particular uh, co-op that your class is working on, um, you can uh, go in there and get a course for it. Those are a lot shorter, um, but might help you out with that. Um, professional development community, that's mainly um, the DLAC courses archived. Oh, OK. And professional development on-demand learning, um, but those are the, the general ones. And I'd want you to take a look at it, but I have to kind of warn you to get in to see these. So when you select it, notice on the right-hand side here, there's a login. It's free login. You just have to have a login, OK? Um, you have to create an account to be able to see anything. But if you're interested in any of these courses, uh, take a look at the shared and developed courses. Um, I have somebody in cosmetology that has an amazing course. Um, so it's whatever you're after. Let's go. California EL Civics Exchange. And this is something new. Um, everybody's doing, anyone that's WIOA is uh, doing co-apps. And they wanted to share, I mean, the resources. If I'm doing 30.1 co-op, um, there are other people who are probably doing the same one. And I create my resources and they create their resources. Why don't we get together and share these resources? So that is, um, and you can submit your resources. Um, a little warning. Um, make sure nothing is copyrighted. That's, um, yeah. And it has to be, um, what is it? Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike. <laughs> anyway, um, but let's take a look at it. Um, as you can see, there's not very many. Um, we've got one under 
community resources. I understand there's more just going through the process. Um, there's health, there's a couple of them, workforce training and employment. Um, but they are slowly coming in. They do have to be checked and uh, checked for copyright, uh, checked for accessibility, uh, which is really big now. Teaching with technology. Um, this is an amazing uh, site. Um, it is an online database of activities that you can do with your students. Um, right now, eh, it looks kind of plain, but uh, it is totally being redone. Um, there uh, is ABE, ASC, and ESL. So let's take a look. This is um, one on Flipgrid. It's called Expressing Ideas. There is an activity description. There is a preparation. There is a presentation. But it's changing. It is going to change. And what is changing is um, the triple E is being added to it. So let's talk about triple E. Where, there we are. Triple E framework, and there is a presentation on this tomorrow morning. Um, it what came from a book by uh, Liz Kolb, Kolb. Um, and what fascinated me it was the learning goal, goal first, and then the technology. Um, Kahoot is going to get you get your students excited, but are they learning the subject matter? Are they learning? Are they meeting their goal? Um, and there are three parts to it. It's called Triple E engagement, getting the students engaged. Enhancement is um, diving a little bit deeper. And extension is um, using it, uh, applying it to their daily lives. So um, there is a, a workshop on it tomorrow morning. Um, Susan Gare and uh, Christy Reyes have been working on this. There's actually even a course that uh, OTAN, um, it was a, a new course that we, we started working on where they learned about Triple E. So what is the new design? Well, it's all changing and there is a group of uh, SMEs who are working hard to um, change the teaching with technology over to um, using the CCR standards as opposed to ABE or ESL, CASA standards. Um, and the new format is going to be warm up, introduction, presentation, practice, evaluation, and application. It's the WIPIA if you're familiar with that. So really excited. And this is what I went in the developmental site, or I guess it's the TPAC, and uh, kind of stole one. This is kind of the top. Everyone, every page is going to have an image. This happens to be um, GCF Learn Free, online learning for ABE students, just one um, activity. But what I want to show you is how it has changed. There is a lesson plan, a full lesson plan, warm up. Here's the introduction with links to um, different, uh, whoops, how did I do that? OK, well, um, presentation and um, also engagement. We're putting the triple E's in. So the warm up here is engagement, uh, probably is co use. Turn to your partner and discuss what difficulties. Oh my goodness. How did that happen? I'm going back to here. Okay. Um, it is turn to your partner and discuss what difficulties you have and how you solve them. And that's part of engagement. 
Um, then there's uh, here we have engagement and enhancement. Anyway, something uh, different. There's also web based class activities. This is the current article. And uh, it is on Canvas and Canvas, Canvas Commons in adult education. So you might want to take a look at this. Um, this is changing also, but right now probably um, you can look at some of the past ones um, and what articles have been written. Um, these come out in the um, newsletter. So uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, there is a lesson plan builder, and it is um, based on the WIPIA. So you could actually create your lesson plan um, on the OTAN website and print it out. And it will, it kind of guides you um, to look first at what's the goal, what's the learning goal, and then um, as you take each one of these um, sections or components of the lesson plan and uh, complete it. So uh, great tool. And then the OTAN library. Uh, it's a long li library. It is archived. And to, to show you, <laughs> I want you to see this. Um, look at the dates. I got one that goes back to 1992. Some of those will not be current. <laughs> Most of them will not. But these are some of the old articles that were presented on the OTAN website at some point in time. Um, great tool. This is the California Adult Ed Provider Directory. And what I like about this is um, one year I had a student who had to move out of, out of the area. And I said, well, where are you moving to? And we put his uh, zip code in. Actually, we, we put in his city because I don't think he knew the, the zip code. And there were all these possibilities. And we were able to locate uh, a school where he could continue his studies. So uh, that was kind of cool. Online. Um, no, this is the Adult Education Students Succeed. And when you have a student who really has um, overcome uh, numerous obstacles and uh, they have succeeded above, you know, uh, even in spite of all these obstacles, you want to um, honor them. And this is one way you can, if you notice up on the top, there is nominate. You can nominate your students, good advertisement, um, for your school. And this one, this student, where did he come from? Oxnard Adult School. So that's something you might, they get a beautiful plaque. Um, and uh, sometimes they're acknowledged at a conference, but uh, other times, uh, lately, I don't know how they've been doing it. But anyway, uh, California Adult Education Online Application and Reporting. We talked a little bit about that. Um, these here's where you're going to find the SIP. It says this SIP portal is now open, so it is open. All right, um, and that was opened on February 1st. So, um, and then your administrator will log in here, and that's where um, they'll complete their SIP. Um, report. All right, let's keep going. We're almost done. We're almost done. We have gone through all of these. All right. So I'm going to set you loose. So let's see. So you are going to the resources tab. And take a look at some of these. Here's the accessibility. Curriculum offers is quite large. And if there's something in particular you want, want more information on, um, you can either contact OTAN or let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. Um, 
if we can find a link to get you in there. This is the adult ed courses. I can get in. So let me see what. That's DLAC. I want to go to the dashboard. I don't want, I want the site home. Here we go. And there are EL civics courses, banking, diversity, DMV. Um, 13.6, 14.7, um, there's quite a few. And you can go in and look around, but you will have to have a login on these. All right, so let's go to courses. And Sample courses, OTAN developed courses, advanced ESL, college transition and career development, personal success through writing, writing pathways to career success. So there's quite a bit there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the OTAN web page and we can take a look around. I do want to go on fairly quickly because we've got 20 minutes left. So I think online here's resources. We did that. Um, okay. I think we're going to move on. And this time we are All right. And right here. Um we are on stay connected. And this is where the digest and the um, administrators and and as I was mentioning in the beginning, administrators digest and the teachers digest have now been combined together and you're going to find them under the OTAN digest. Um, but the older ones are still there and you can see those. So let's get going. Um, adult education news, anything that is posted on the main OTAN uh, website um, shows up here. Um, when it's removed, it's not gone. It is posted here. So as you can see, OTAN upcoming activities week of February 28th. Well, that's this week, but there's something new up now. So uh, catch up on recent and past adult education news. You can go back a few years if you want. <laughs> um, but that is the adult education news. There is an index to the digest. Um, they have been combined for a little over a year. And you can see this is the current one, February 22nd. Um, and if you wanted the old ones, there is the Administrator's Digest and there is um, the Teacher's Digest. So, all right, I should stay over here. Here we go. This is an OTAN Digest. And at the top, you can see the message from the director. Over on the left, in a little box, it says news for teachers. And here it is, nominate a deserving student for the Adult Education Students Succeed program. Here's welcome to the 2022 ELL Civics Conference. And then there is contextualized video lessons at Adult Ed Med. 
I don't know. And then there's also administrators. Um, section for administrators and different articles that uh, would interest them. And then over here are the web-based activities. Remember, these go up once a month. In February, we talked about Canvas and Canvas Commons. Um, last month was Triple E Framework, and they talked about just extension. Before that was Triple E Framework Enhancement. And before that, I can tell you it was engagement. So they went through all of them. This is the OTAN newsletter. Um, and this comes out, you can, remember we were requesting, you could request it in um, hard print. And we did talk about this, but it is published quarterly. All right. So we probably have a couple of minutes. Okay, Linda, we're going for it. You responded. Okay, I'm going to go on. This is the video presentations. And video presentations, they've divided them. And remember the COVID-19 page? Um, they were divided somewhat. Um, but here, you've got all of them. And here's your equity and inclusion. Somebody was mentioning that. Um, and DLAC, TDLS. You can see pre, uh, presentations from last year's TDLS. Um, OTAN Tech Talks. Did you miss an OTAN Tech Talk? It's there. So let's take a look. Ooh. All right, I got to find, there we go. These are featured videos. And we've got teaching and working online, LMS, uh, Moodle, Google Classroom. Uh, and here, I think we already talked about this. So we do have some from there. But this is teaching and working online. Um, no. Can I move it? Can I move it? No. OK. Um, and there's numerous videos here. Uh, here's LMS, Moodle, Google Classroom, Canvas, digital resources, easy Microsoft apps projects for language practice. So if you're an ESL teacher, digital resources for beginning ESL students. Discover or rediscover Padlet um, and boost online class engagement with Hippocampus. So um, here's the Digital Leadership Academy. And I do encourage you and your agency to apply if you have uh, not been part of DLAC. Um, and you can see their mid project reports that would have been last May. And they are coming up to the final reports, but in April uh, applications will be open. So something to think about. This is the tech talks. <laughs> Excuse me. Tech talks are different from webinars. And what's different about them is they're only about 20 minutes long between 20 and 30. And they are scripted. You have to have a script and you have to stay on the script. And there's no questions, no comments, no chat, nothing for that time period. And uh, from there, they use these, they get them remediated and can post them up. But after a tech talk, there's always, then once they finish, then you can ask questions, they can demonstrate, and um, you can be part of the discussion. But uh, what do we got here? We've got best practices for high quality online instruction, creating accessible documents, internet safety, licensing and copyright. That's really becoming important. Um, simultaneous instruction using HyFlex. Oh, I'm so impressed with HyFlex. Um, a couple of the uh, agencies have so something called an OWL, um, where 
the teacher teaches in the classroom and there's students present in the classroom and uh, they um, also have students who are online and the owl follows the teacher around to the board or wherever you know and students are participating the same as they would in a regular classroom so it's pretty amazing uh, teaching made easier with Google Keep, using technology to help students set, monitor, and achieve goals. So, very important. Um, this is on the uh, Technology and Distance Learning Symposium. Um, and these are the ones from last year. And down at the very, very bottom, I didn't capture it, I guess. Um, there are the ones from the previous year. So if you missed a presentation, and it does take a while to get these um, videos remediated, um, but uh, these are from different agency, no, these are from um, different presentations. So all you need is Google Jamboard, uh, create an interactive Google slideshow and get your your students googly for Google Slides. <laughs> that one sounds interesting. Designing adult basic education and ESL courses for a flexible environment and digital leadership. So um, different, uh, whoops, here we, let me get it back over here. Um, different presentations from last year and probably what will happen when the new ones come up because everything is being recorded, um, they will be um, listed here. So this will be the place to look, but they will also probably make an, a general announcement on their main web page. So you wanna be notified. And if you have joined OTAN, um, they will notify you and let you know that they are uh, are up. Can't miss out on social media. And this is from last night. I put this up from last night. So I was pretty excited. That's a wrap. Um, day one of TDLS 22 is in the books. And thanks to everyone who made day one a great start of the conference. We'll see you tomorrow at 830. This one over here, I think it says about the same thing. This is Twitter. So there's Facebook, there's Twitter, and this I believe is LinkedIn. So, um, and the, down the bottom of the page, there's always the social media, but make sure that you um, follow OTAN on Twitter and LinkedIn, subscribe to their YouTube channel, um, just so you find out what's going on, what's happening.